Hey guys, my name is John Walshuk. I'm a biology graduate student in the McLooney lab here at BGSU, and um, I'm currently raising money to support my master's research. Now for my work, I study bats and spiders. These are very essential organisms in our ecosystems. They eat a lot of uh, flies, mosquitoes, and especially crop pests. Now, I'd like to be a little bit more specific about what exactly I do with bats and spiders, and I think that might best be done by illustration. So um, here I drew a little cornfield with an agricultural ditch right next to it. Now, um, there's some insects that spend a good part of their lives in the water, and whenever they mature, they come up out of the water. This can include mosquitoes, mayflies, stoneflies, um, but whenever these guys come up out of the water, we have predators like bats and spiders that take advantage of these emergent insects. And one of the things I'm really interested in seeing is whether or not these same predators taking advantage of emergent insects are spilling over into adjacent cornfields to take advantage of crop pests. And the term for this is spillover predation. What's cool about this is we can also see how predators of different mobilities and energy demands spill over differently. So for instance, something like a bat, which is highly mobile and has a high energy demand, might spill over to a greater extent than a less mobile predator like a wolf spider. And a wolf spider might spill over even more so than a non-mobile predator like a web spider. And another cool aspect of this research is that I can see if improved ditch management has any effect on emergence and subsequent spillover. So if you have uh, a better managed ditch, it may foster increased emergence that enhances the amount of spillover going over into adjacent cornfields, potentially reducing the need for pesticides in the long run. Um, and this is cool because this has never been looked at before. And um, that's part of what I'm excited to take a look at through this research. All right, um, now one of the ways in which we can gain an understanding of what bats and spiders in these ecosystems are eating is by using chemistry, uh, specifically isotope analysis of bat droppings and spider tissues. Um, this is really cool because we have managed to look at some of my samples so far, and it's looking like the data is telling us that uh, spiders, like wolf spiders and web spiders, are capitalizing on whatever prey is within their vicinity, as where highly mobile predators like bats look like they're eating a combination of both ditch insects and crop pests. Um, really, we won't have a full picture until we look at the rest of my samples. And this is the more expensive part of the research, and that's part of why I'm reaching out to you guys. Um, any contributions that you can make to my project will be greatly appreciated. Um, if you need any more detail on what I'm doing, check out the project description on my page. And um, if you have any questions specifically for me, feel free to email me. So again, this is John Walshuk from the McLooney Lab, hoping you have a great day. Bye, guys.